Okay, let's go down to the bathroom. In the bathroom, this is the upgrade that we will get. We will get the full tub right there and um, a nice little uh, bucket of water over there, I guess, to wash clothes or wash our dog or something. <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, buy the upgrade for the bathroom. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all Yo schemes and graphics we are back in the building with another Red Dead Redemption 2 my video for you And today we are going to be installing viable properties All right, this one is created by Bloomin or Bo Bowman Bowman 70 that's the creator shout out to the creator when you get down to this download page what you want to do is read the description read the full description and when you're done reading the full description what you want to do is select files in order to download okay now before uh, you download you want to check out the requirements okay the requirements are going to be right here inside the description if you click on the requirements you will see that the requirements for this in order for this to work is script hook rdr2 and version dot dll now I will leave the links down in the description to the requirements that you're going to need for script hook vrdr2 it will be this website right here and we get down to this website you want to look for this download link right here in order to download script hook rdr2 now as for the version dll that will lead you to this page right here on rdr2mods.com website all right and when you get here what you want to do is select download this file okay very easy all right so once you have all of your requirements uh, downloaded as well as viable properties, it should look something like this. On my left hand side, I have three downloads. I have viable properties, RDR2 ASI loader, which is the version .dll, and then I have script hook RDR2. All right. And on my right hand side, I have my Red Dead Redemption 2 directory opened up. Now let's go ahead and start off with our requirements first, okay? Let's go ahead and install our script hook RDR2. So open up that folder. Inside that folder will be another folder that says bin. Open up that folder. Then we are going to select these files that I have highlighted and drag and drop both of these files over here to our directory. I already have it as you can see. Now let's go back to our downloads. Go back. Now let's open up the RDR2 ASI loader file. Okay, let's open up the RDR2 ASI loader. And inside that folder, we are going to have our versions.dll file. Let's highlight that, drag and drop that over to our Red Dead Redemption 2 directory. Drag and drop that, I already got it. All right, now let's go back to the downloads. Last but not least, let's go inside the Bible Properties folder. All right, open up the Bible Properties folder. Inside that folder, we are going to highlight everything in this folder. All right, so make sure you have everything highlighted like this. And we're going to drag and drop that to our Red Dead Redemption 2 directory right here. All right, now that that has been dragged and dropped, we are all done with the installation let's go ahead and minimize any other windows we might have open and run the game all right once you spawn into the game what you want to do is open up the pause menu go to map and if you look on your map you're going to have some new blips on your map and these maps will look just like this right here there will be little blips like this that will be of a house with a dollar sign inside okay and then when you have the cursor above the blip it will say house to buy all right so you're going to have a couple of these on the map it lets you know in um, the description on how many um, houses that we have on the map to buy and the locations of these houses as well so I'm not going to go through all of the locations, just a few of them, as you can see. Some over here. And you have some more down here. Some right there. And there's 
there's some more down here too. So they're all over the map and stuff, all right? I don't think there's any in Mexico or New Mexico or whatever it is, all right? So um, where we are at is going to be, where are we? I think we're in Strawberry. We're close to Strawberry. Okay, we're over here. All right, so let's go ahead and teleport to uh, this one right here. All right, this one's in West Elizabeth. It's at uh, Shepherd's Rise. Let's go over there. And we'll use this menu to teleport. All right, we made it safely. So once you get to one of these properties, if uh, you look, there will be a sign like this, okay? As soon as you get by any one of these properties, there's going to be a sign. And in this sign, this is the sign that we're going to use to purchase our property, okay? So once you walk into the sign, you will see instructions at the bottom right of the screen. And it says buy property and it's going to be a certain amount. For this one, it's going to be $12,000. So uh, these could be quite pricey. Let's go right here and purchase this. All right, now you have the message right there that says property purchased. You are now the owner. So once we go ahead and purchase that, let's go ahead and hop on our horse because All right, my boy. why run down that long walkway when we could just ride our horse down there? All right, now that we're here at the house. This is the house that we just bought right here. Let's head inside. And as you can see, this is our new house. We have um, a few pieces of furniture inside, but um, there is a place where we could upgrade our house and fully furnish it. But when you buy it, it just comes uh, pretty much like an empty shell. It comes with a little bit of a uh, interior well not interior but a little bit of furniture okay so as you can see in here we do have a bed and a nightstand and a table um, but if you go inside of the bathroom for example and here we don't have nothing all we have is a a little toilet right there to take a dump in that's it so when you first buy it it's going to be empty also you can search the um the furniture also search the drawers and tables and stuff like that you might find some cool stuff in there that you need but let's go ahead and head out and if we go right out here right outside the house you will see a little map right here if you go to the map you look at the bottom right it will have um, instructions on what button to press to customize the lot okay so let's go ahead and open that up and this will open up a menu for you we will have two options to upgrade, we will have the option to upgrade interior and upgrade the outside. So let's go ahead and start with the interior. By selecting that, you see the bedroom right here. And you see the price for the upgrade of the bedroom is $264. So let's go ahead and purchase that. And as you can see, it had added some more furniture in here. We have some shelvings and um, looks like... Uh, like a desk uh, slash cabinet or something right there. Okay, let's go down to the bathroom. In the bathroom, this is the upgrade that we will get. We will get the full tub right there and um, a nice little uh, bucket of water over there, I guess, to wash clothes or wash our dog or something. <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, buy the upgrade for the bathroom. All right, next one down is the dining room. Okay, the dining room. We are going to have a dining room table and uh, some... Um, some what silverware with some plates and uh, some alcohol over there so let's go ahead and buy that so we could complete our kitchen and in the living room we were just in the living room all we had was just uh, i believe a couch and a table now if we buy this upgrade we are going to have uh, some pictures on the wall um, some chairs um, and also some more cabinets all right and if we scroll down to the last upgrade, it is going to be a weapon locker, which will be placed in our bedroom. Let's go ahead and select that. So now that we have purchased all of the upgrades for the inside, let's go ahead and check out the upgrades for the outside. By selecting the outside upgrades, the first option we have is the hitching post. All right, the hitching post is for a horse where we could 
hitch our horse okay so the horse doesn't run away let's go ahead and buy that the second outside upgrade is going to be a shooting range okay we got a nice shooting range right on the i think the right side of the house so let's go ahead and buy that next one down we have trophies okay the trophies will be um on the wall it will actually be i think that big animal's head right there that stuffed the deer's head on the wall <laughs> that will be the trophies let's go ahead and buy that and last but not least the last outside upgrade is going to be a campfire okay at this campfire we will be able to rest by the fire and be able to craft at the fire and eat at the fire as well all right so let's go ahead and buy that as well and that will be the end of the outside upgrades so we bought all of the interior upgrades and the outside upgrades when you're done upgrading go ahead and back out of the menu and then we could go and check out our nice little up the upgrades that we had bought so on this side this is the shooting range right here all right you can practice on our shooting right here with all different type of guns and shoot as much as we want to because we have no neighbors <laughs> so if we go to the other side of the house this is where you will see your campfire all right by going to the campfire, as soon as you go close to it, you will see the same instructions that you always get when you get near a campfire. Especially a campfire that you built, you will have the option to rest by the fire, craft, or cook. So let's go ahead and rest by the fire. Alright, and there we go. We're rested by the fire. And let's go ahead and craft that will open up the crafting menu let's go ahead and select some um what's this plain game bird and as you can see we are cooking a piece of some bird we have the option to eat or stow it inside of our inventory and when we're done with this we could always just press the back button to leave and that will be it for that Let's go inside and check out the house now that we have all these nice little upgrades. And let's go in the bathroom. This will be our bathroom here. Before we only had the little toilet. Now we have a, a bathtub. And uh, I think this is a place where you wash clothes. and uh, Or wash your rags, you know, like your face towel or whatever. And then you will hang it up on that rack to dry, if I'm correct. <laughs> so now we have all of our necessary stuff to uh, get funky fresh in the morning. Hold on. We go out here. Let this door close. Is this door gonna close? Okay. We'll just go past the door then. And let's go in this room right here. And this room right here will be our kitchen. All right. We have our kitchen table, and um, we have two dirty plates right here, and, and some flowers, and we have a whole bunch of alcohol over there also. All right and let's go in this room and this room is our bedroom as you can see we have carpet now inside of our bedroom um yeah we have a lot more stuff here in here now including our weapons locker so when you walk up to your weapons locker you have the opportunity to change your weapons and you'll have this list that will pop up um, with all the with all the weapons that you could choose from as well all right now you could put these um, you can equip these as your sidearm or equip offhand sidearm, all right? All of the different options are in the bottom right of the screen, okay? So let's exit out of that. Everything seems good, man. Looks like uh, John Marston got a uh, nice house. I, did I say Jack Marston? I meant John Marston. <laughs> yeah, it looks like John Marston got another house, though, yo. All right. Well, we're going to end the tutorial right here, but if this helps y'all out to install buying properties or you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding Red Dead Redemption 2, y'all. This game's graphics. Me and uh, John Marston, we are out of here until next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.